What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're inside of an absolute abandoned mega mansion. This place has an indoor pool, indoor bowling alley, indoor theater, movie theater. I'm inside the basketball court. I don't even know if I'm missing anything. There's a mini golf course outside. There's so much stuff here and it's really cool, mint condition. This place was in a couple movies, a couple TV shows. It literally reminds me of Extreme Home Makeover, Abandoned Edition. That's literally what this is. And we're gonna check this place out. If you enjoy, leave a thumbs up. Let's go check it out. We're joined with Cinematic Seth. What about Seth? And Urbex and Chill. And we're gonna be exploring this place together. I'll keep their links in the description. They called this place the Dog Gone Arena. We have a multitude of college teams here listed on the wall. And so far I've been in here for a little bit and we have some black mold and peeling on the ceiling. A little bit of water damage. So far that's the only decay I see. So far so good. Gotta love a fresh bando. The basketball court even has a disco ball hanging way above and all that black mold and decay. This will be a good way to tell how long this place was abandoned. Ah, oh, they're pretty flat. If they would have been semi-pumped up, I would have figured it was not that long ago. Maybe we'll shoot some hoops after we're done filming and taking pictures. Inside the house, you can't make this up. Boston Celtics tickets. 2008, the year they won the championship. Row 9, seat 9 for $10. Got Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, Garnett. Gotta love the woodwork in here. Absolute beautiful design. That's the slide that goes down to the indoor pool. And there's a jacuzzi here. Wow, they have their own little bar down here too. Everything's so clean. Still have some water in the pool. Bowling pin doorknob can only mean, mean one thing. Wow. 
Wow. This place is pretty retro. Seth and I are just chilling in the bowling alley. This place is crazy. You still got the bowling shoes racked up. Let's head down here. Looks like some explorers were here and they decided to throw a couple bowling balls down here. Got the pile of them in the back. Probably multi-million dollars, multi-multi. Looks like we have a sauna. Got speakers in here too. This door hasn't been opened in a long time. Ooh, we have a gym. Yeah, you can see the mold on there. And the sweat just sitting on there and sitting in this room with no uh, ventilation. So just checked out the basement, back on main level, where the basketball court is. Now we're gonna go upstairs and see how these people live. Oh, this is actually the balcony. You have nice little bleachers up here. It's not that artificial stone, that's the real deal right there. Looks like somebody is taking care of this house because you have a pile of dust in one corner. A couple others down there. So they're keeping tabs on uh, coming in every once in a while still. Wow, this is like brand new. It's a little bit of dust on it and little smudges, but for the most part, good shape. Let's check out, see what company made this. Wurlitzer, German. People like looking up in the comments how much pianos are, because they, they go for a pretty penny sometimes. So check that out, let me know how much that costs. I love the black with the dark wood here in this kitchen. Super pleasing to the eye. Old TVs, probably late 2000s. Wow, these are really nice.
Oh, wow. So the fake fireplace they have, well, not fake, but it's one of those artificial ones that just blow out heat and you don't actually burn wood. One side goes to the office and the other one goes to this little uh, hangout room. After seeing pictures online, I really thought this place was empty, but so far you have the kitchen table there, some furniture here, some beautiful chandeliers, and let's hope some beds or something's left upstairs where these people slept, or many people, not just one family, a bunch. Ah, got some beds, yeah. I feel like I'm in another dirty room. You have the nasty stains. Dembel, come check this bed out, because that might be blood. Nice big tub for two. Okay. There was poop in the toilet. Ooh, that's that's a that's the first little bit of decay that's pretty serious. You have the floor warping here. Usually that happens from water damage. Could be dripping from that drain soaking into the bed and just coming out. Interesting. So here we are inside what looks to be the master bedroom. Huge, huge room with a nice wood frame bed. And of course it has a fireplace. And I peeked in here for a second. This bathroom is remarkable. Double sink. And a huge hot tub, bathtub. And a walk-in shower. What's back here? Probably a closet. Oh. Bathroom. Okay, just running around the basement. Because the only thing I didn't find is the movie theater. But I think I see some theater looking like doors. So you might be in luck. Oh wow, there's another little bar over here also. Let's go check that out. Ooh, got the movie theater finally. Wow, this place is cool. You can see the dust here. Just sitting on all these seats. Wicked. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve people. So you got movies down here. You have the bar over there with the fireplace. And I didn't check this out before. A little downstairs bedroom. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for today's video. We explored a lot of this house. All of it actually. Place was awesome. I've never been in a house with an indoor pool, an indoor movie theater, what else? An indoor basketball court and I've knocked all those off my bucket list in one location. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this explore. It's not as grimy and decayed and not as much paint chipping and dust as the places I usually go. This place is pretty mint. Like I said before, they use this place in movies, TV shows, so I guess they have to keep it up to a standard. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Links for Seth and Chris will be in the description. Check them out. They both make really respectable exploring content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.
was so It went in. Okay, that's my fifth try. I'm done.